out on a great show today, though, because we are starting things off with our favorite film critic, Learning What to Watch. Oh, we always love these Friday segments going into the weekend. Here he is joining us live now, film critic Dale Pollock. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Jacqueline. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for being here with us. So going into this weekend, we are first going to start off with The Burial. That's on Prime Video. Tell us more. Well, this is a movie that uh, kind of snuck under the radar. I had never heard about it being made, but when I fi finally saw it, it was more interesting than I expected. And that's primarily due to the star, Jamie Foxx, who brings an enormous amount of energy to this corporate law story. Tommy Lee Jones owns a funeral home. He's being squeezed out by a big corporation. Jamie Foxx is a personal injury lawyer, doesn't do business law. So it takes a while for the two of them to get together. Once they do, Jamie Foxx takes over the movie. He's terrific in court, the way he dresses, the way he acts. This is his best role in years. And again, I, I think it's a shame it's kind of flying under the radar. Um, the director, Maggie Betts, who is a black female director, does a very good job with this film. And a young actress named Journey Smollett, who started out as a child actor, has really matured well. She was in Lovecraft County, and she is also very good in this. It just kind of runs out of steam two-thirds of the way through. You know where the, how the ending is going to work out. You know Tommy Lee is going to win. And so the suspense level is very, very low. The thing to treasure are the performances. And Tommy Lee is looking a bit long in the tooth. I don't know how much longer we'll see him on the big screen. But Jamie Foxx just gets better and better with every role he does. He's one of the best actors working today. And I don't think he gets enough credit for being there. Well, you are giving him that credit, Dale. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing that you're highlighting this movie and, and his work there. Yeah. How many popcorns did you end up giving it? Three popcorns because okay. it doesn't sustain until the very end. But it's still a fun watch. Nice. All right, so the next one is on Apple TV Plus. It's The Pigeon Tun Tunnel. Yes, and this is a documentary about Jean Le Carré, the author of The Spy Who Came In for the Cold, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, all the British spy novels of the 70s, 80s, 90s. He's been very, very prolific. A number of his books have been made into films, and I never actually saw an interview with him. He was very publicity shy. But Errol Morris, a very good documentary filmmaker who did The Thin Blue Line, a lot of other documentaries, got him to sit down and talk about his career and his books. And the conversation is fascinating. So that's the good part of this film. The bad part is Errol Morris keeps intruding, not only with um, restaged scenes, which I don't particularly like in yeah, documentaries, recreations, but he keeps inserting himself into the film. And for a documentary filmmaker, that's a weird position to take. He, he, it's like he's competing with the subject of his documentary. So ultimately, John Le Carré, conversations are brilliant. I wish there were more of them and less of Errol Morris and his recreations. This is a dangerous road, I think, for documentary filmmaking to go down to try to recreate stuff. It's supposed to be about what really happened, not about what could have happened. So I hope documentary filmmakers abandon this attempt to recreate everything and just go with the real facts of a story and let us make our own judgment. I'm in agreement with you there. I feel like those recreated scenes always kind of end up looking a little cheesy. Yeah. Yeah. They I think do. they've done them so they much in true out. crime and stuff that now it just looks cheap and like true crime every time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So what was your popcorn rating there? Three popcorns yeah. because John Le Carre is a fascinating person. Nice. So just for the subject alone, we, are, we right. knew it was going to be good. <laughs> All right, third one here, A Million Miles Away. This is on Prime Video. Again, I heard very little about this film when it came out on Prime. They made it. And it's a great vehicle for Michael Pena, a wonderful uh, Latino actor who has just gotten better and better over the years. This is his real starring role. He plays a man who was a janitor at the Space Center and wants to be an astronaut and spends the whole film fighting and inching his way up the ladder until he is finally chosen as an astronaut. So in terms of upward mobility, this is a very inspiring story. Michael Pena and his family just won't give up. He pursues his dream. Um, it's it's very well made. It's very involving, largely Latino cast. And this is the best kind of aspirational movie. It shows if you really 
want something to happen in your life and you're willing to work hard, you can achieve it. And that's a very positive message in this day and age. And this film should, again, not be swept under the rug. It should be celebrated. It's a very feel-good movie. And the ending is just terrific. So I'm giving this four popcorns because in a, in a world that seems dominated by bad news, here's an example of good news. A man who really had a goal in his life and was able to achieve it. And I think that's inspirational for everybody. And this film is worth the time investing in watching it. Yeah, definitely. It's cool. I mean, a janitor starting yeah. out as that. But this isn't, it's not based on a true story, is it? It is. Oh, it it's is. 100% okay. true. He was the first Latino astronaut to go into wow. space. Oh, oh, those those always make them a little bit better when the movies are great. And you're yes. like, wow, I wish this could happen in real life. And you're like, oh, no, it actually did. I cried so it hard did. when I watched Hidden Figures. So I'm sure that this one is going to get me, too. You know, Some I feel tears like will vibe. flow with this one also. Yeah. All right. Well, well, I'll prepare myself for that. Thank you, Dale, as always, for all of your recommendations and critiques. Here are those titles one more time for folks at home. If you want to watch this weekend, The Burial is on Prime Video, The Pigeon Tunnel on Apple TV Plus, and A Million Miles Away on Prime Video as well. You can also watch Dale's past reviews and recommendations by checking out the WXAI YouTube page. Just go under the Movies in Review playlist, or of course you can visit his website, dalempollock.com.